คุณตุ้นสถิต some people are willing to bet that Thailand is going to have the first lady prime minister very very soon and since we're in the election mode that will be a very hot issue during the campaign Yes, in fact, today half of the population of the reporting uh, people uh -huh. in Bangkok is chasing one woman today. Really? Kun Ying Lak Chinawat. Wow, Ying Lak Thaksin sister. Yes. But uh, she never mm -hmm. talks to the press, especially on political issues. Never. Even today there was a story uh, uh, in, in the media circle that she has already notified the Thai Party that, that she wants to be in the party list. Oh, wow. party. She has to be number one on the party list. But nobody has seen her and wow. never, never heard directly from her mouth. So mm -hmm. uh, everyone is chasing this woman at this moment as no, we But this story has been around for quite some time. Why is it that today suddenly name Ying Lak became a big, big issue? Yes, it started with yesterday after the how dissolution become uh, a, mm -hmm. con a confirmed story. Right. Uh, after that, we heard that the Pure Thai Party had a high-level meeting mm -hmm. in that party, mm -hmm. and they decided to make Kun Ying Lak number one in their party list. Wow. That was a, in, uh, a short uh, story that, mm -hmm. that we got yesterday. That didn't and come as a surprise to most people. No, not at all. But today, uh, the story became even more intensified. Yes. Because the veteran of the Pure Thai Party couldn't travel in Latasaksidi. Right. He came out and tell everyone that Thailand now should be prepared to have its first female prime minister. Wow, that's really drum beating, right? And, yes. And, and is that final? No, um, I, I, after that, two veterans of the Pure Thai Party uh, first Kun uh, said that no, 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 it's not, it, not, not final yet. Uh -huh. And then after that, the party spokesman Pom Pong no Parit, mm -hmm. he also said that, hey, wait, let's mm -hmm. wait until tomorrow. Everything will be very clear tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Uh, maybe some uh, confirmation uh, from some Dubai official announcement, uh -huh. whatever tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They don't want, uh, somehow they don't want to make it official today. But you and I know that. The person who decides is, you know, Thaksin, that's all. Not the party committee, right. not the spokesman, that's why, not Chavarin. That's why we didn't give that much importance mm -hmm. at, uh, at first to the, uh, to the meeting that mm -hmm. uh, took place in the Pure Thai Party yesterday mm -hmm. until it became, um, uh, somehow it came out that they have decided to make mm -hmm. Kun Ying Lak in the party list. Mm -hmm. Who is going to be number one on Pure Thai's party list is the most important political story for Pure Thai because that would determine who is going to be competing with Apisit Wei Chachiwa from the Democrat to tell the people during the campaign that I will make a better prime minister than the other person. Yes. So it would be Apisit versus Ying Lak if Ying Lak is confirmed as the number one on the party list yes. of Pur Thai Party. But technically, technically speaking, even though Kun Ying Lak is named as a number one on the Pur Thai Party list, it's still uh, Kun Thaksin can still play around a little bit uh, yes. depending on the election result. Yes. Which means that if some if the election result don't go his way, he yes. does he don't like it. He he, he is afraid that there will mm -hmm. be a trouble, big mm -hmm. trouble for yes. for the future prime minister. He might pick somebody else in the party list to be the uh, prime minister candidate instead of Kun Ying Lak, just to save his sister. But it depends on how Pur Thai is going to campaign. Yes. If the campaign theme is, we have a better Ying person. Ying as the prime minister. Yes. What's wrong with saying, we're going to have the first female prime minister, we're going to have someone who is close to Thaksin, we're going to have a very bright, young, executive lady mm -hmm. who can be the yes. prime minister. Mm -hmm and will make history by being the first lady prime minister. That would be a very really sexy Apisi. campaign. At, yeah, Apisi yes. will become, although he's still young and handsome, mm -hmm. he will become defensive, I'm, I'm sure. A, mm -hmm. a, a pretty candidate mm -hmm. against a handsome candidate. It could be a Romeo and Juliet <laughs> for Thai politics, so who knows. <laughs> uh -huh. So, but when would we know for sure, technically? Um, uh, technically, um, the Pure Thai Party, we have to uh, submit the party list uh, candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, when to, is that? To 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 the EC yeah. next next week, uh, May nineteen. So uh, by then we should see the list. Uh, May nineteen is the first day of the party list uh, yes. registration, uh -huh. and it will goes until um, May twenty third. So 
-hmm. Next week, we should know for sure whether Kun Jing Lak will be mm -hmm. uh, the Prime Minister candidate or not. Mm -hmm. So, is it Apisit versus Ying Lak or Apisit versus who else in Perth Thai? What the name of Kun Sang Su Wan? Kun Ming Kwan, uh, Ming Kwan. We, we, we can almost uh, just out. mark his name out. And uh, we, we, we've been hearing about uh, Pracha Prom Nok, which is uh, yes. a bit yes. uh -huh. We have another theory that mm -hmm. if it's not Ying Lak, it could be someone from a third party oh, who yes. could be nominated by Thaksin to be Prime Minister if Pua Thai wins really big and decisively. Yes. So it could mm -hmm. be still uh, um, something that we have to watch very closely. Yes, it, every it, day. Yes, the game mm -hmm. could change all the time. So that's why it's so exciting. Stay tuned. We're going to keep you up to date every day from now on until Election Day.